1864 baseball between the Diamond State Baseball Club and the Mohican Baseball Club of Kennett Square. It's the 150th anniversary of baseball in Delaware. We're the Diamond State Baseball Club. The Diamond State Baseball Club was actually formed by a group of attorneys from downtown Wilmington, and they formed the club on October 2nd, 1865. It was the first club expressly for the purpose of playing baseball games. So much of this is the same. It's still nine fielders. It's still nine innings. There's still three outs to set to a side. It's still three strikes, you're out. We don't use gloves. That's a real education in and of itself. We do usually wind up with about one broken finger a year. <laughs> the pitcher is throwing underhanded. The fly balls can be caught on one bounce and the batter is out. Another rule difference is fair and foul balls. Fair and foul is determined by the first bounce. The balls are made from one piece of leather. It has an India rubber center, so it's a little, little softer. These are balls that are made like a ball that would have been played with in the 1860s. The bats are much the same. There was many advertisements in newspapers back in the day. They would advertise how thick it was at the barrel, how thick it was at the handle, what kind of wood it was made out of. These are made to specifications from actual advertisements of the 1860s. We don't have actual pictures of the Diamond State Baseball Club. We do have uh, descriptions in the newspaper that they wore black pants, a blue and buff colored shirt, and a blue newsboy cap. This is sort of our, our best guess of what they what they might have worn. What I look forward to is uh, getting out here and playing ball with the guys. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, everybody likes to hit, right? You know, and when you when you take that bat and you swing it and you hit a ball nice and square, that feels good. A lot of us do it for the history of the game. You, you never know who's going to show up. Someone sees it on the Facebook page, someone sees it on the website, and they show up. It's kind of like Joe DiMaggio. They would, they would often ask Joe DiMaggio, why do you play so hard all the time, even when it's the eighth inning of a game that's 12 to 2 or something? And he said, maybe there's somebody in the crowd that's the first time they ever saw me play. I want them to think I play hard. We come out here and we try and put on a historically accurate game and keep it that way at all times, you never know who's gonna be here. What I hope to take away from the experience is that, that we've put on an, a historically accurate game. They're learning something about the history of baseball. There's a lot of little things that happened during this particular time period that we're depicting that made baseball evolve into what it is today. And so what we're trying to do is get out there and have some fun and get some exercise and also teach something to someone who shows up.